Einstein is a sneaky good runner with the football. He had a 21-yard run against Oklahoma State in a key spot. Mulestein to throw. He wants Rager, and it's short. Shaywo Olanalua is his tailback. They've had injuries at that position as well. And Olanalua, who's a load to take down, as Mulestein touches the ball for the second time. And the corner blitz was coming. Travion Beck, second down. A little Not at all. I mean, sometimes you end up having extra time for those guys. But for TCU, that was the whole central focus of practice. As this one goes down the middle and intercepted. Jalen Hawk out that afternoon in Madison. By a wide margin, too. It was not close that day as they won Paul Bunyan's axe at the end of the season. Yulstein to throw and a quick hitter on the screen for Meeking, the freshman, and he's not going. That is incomplete off the hands of Tate. They're going to send Yulstein in motion, and Rager will take the snap. And he hands it off. You said it off the top. Three, in fact. So we'll see if uh, the offenses can calm this down. As Grayson Muhlstein takes the Horn Frogs back out. Can't have a running play intercepted, but it can go for a loss. Second down. Alana Lua. Head first. He set up third down and creative ways to get Jalen Rager the football. Olanalua. Boy, the Cal defensive line has done a very nice job. He spent seven years in active duty in the Air Force. Beck showing blitz, and here he comes. Mulestein feels the rush, flag comes in. Mulestein. Finally chucks He's it out of Bill Fire. Cheese it. My buddy's on cheese. Wouldn't we all? A lot of Lua on the run as we go downstairs to Olivia. And he's lined up in the backfield right now with a lot of Lua. A lot of Lua as they use Rager as a decoy successfully for a first down game. On the field for TCU all season long. They run away from the towel that ended up in the middle of the formation and in that right there. Alana Lua, TCU's largest gain of the night by far. It went by. And Alana Lua is just a very decisive runner. Not real shifty. Nothing like Darius Anderson, more of the home run hitter. Yulstein, the senior who waited for his chance, hands it off and gives him a fourth down and about two and a half coming up. 14. Three picks. So they will run it on the first and 15 as Olivia just caught up moments ago with Gary Patterson. Better job in their empty sets of containing the quarterback. Got a tackle and, you know, these kind of ball games, the one that wants it in the second half, it's usually the one that wins. So we better want it more. Decoy than anything else, but certainly not building touches for the young man. They'll run it away from the trip side. TCU likes to do that quite a bit. They had three receivers. time. Maybe it's with his legs. He was in front of the line of scrimmage, and it's picked off anyway. The Rager has been uh, knocked around some. They will run on first down. Alana Lua absorbed some contact and turned it into a game. Alana Lua back in. We into can plus talk, territory. We can talk about outlier compared to what we saw at the end of the regular season for TCU. Alana Lua the tailback. Thundering ahead for an extra yard or two. Jason did bend himself. He's the man in motion here, Rager. Mulestein to run. And he's just short of the 15. So eventually keep the football. Make a good decision in the run game right here. Rager's one-on-one -on -one with Hicks, and they will run it. This is short by two yards. 
Olatalua. No reverse, he runs it himself. First down and more. Olatalua. A runaway track for six. Once again, Jalen Rager was used as the decoy. In that fly motion lane, Rager was coming across the formation behind Alana Lua. But it was a design heavy run to the right side. Alua once again playing quarterback. Alana Lua at the goal line and not through the goal line. After the media Jay timeout. Alana Lua on that last run did get in according to instant replay. Ruling on the field overturned. It's a touchdown. Here's why. And a great job by the replay booth just before that right knee of Alana Lua goes down, he reaches across and penetrates that goal line. That's all he needed. And so we aren't officially in the fourth quarter yet. One untimed down before we actually turn the clock to quarter number four. Hey, there are no plays. I'll take a win however it happens. And if they're going to win, it may be however it happens tonight. The freshman Barber reaches out and gets socked. Five for 17 for eight yards in the game. A lot of Lewis staggers across midfield. How long do you think it takes Alabama and Oklahoma? 14 total so far. Third down for Muellstein. The senior who waited his turn on the roll. Muellstein has to give it up. Beck split out wide in this formation. Rodgers had a knee injury earlier this year. And now they're going to go Wildcat. Olana Lua is down, so Rodgers has this condition called drop. How mobile is Rodgers? And we're going to find out real fast. He shed Weaver, and Rodgers goes down. That's very last year with a full complement of timeouts. Olana Lua running hard all night long, and third down and short yards in this game on five completions. So they run. Into the line and driven back. Alana Lua didn't get there. It is a power play to the right. Does he have enough? No, sir! Cal holds the line. They will run. Alana Lua trying to scramble. Timeout called by Cal. Forget with all those numbers we saw, they're better than usual and they're a top 20 defense. Typically, but TCU runs through them there. Olana he was second string starting the year. Darius Anderson out. Olanalua oh, up the middle. Across midfield. First down, TCU. 33. And in this critical situation, TCU has said, you know what? We think we can get something done between the. Olanalua oh, tunneling about a yard short. Low snap. Olanalua. Oh, Nearly got by the third level Hawkins. They're driving for the win. Olana Lua back in. He slams on the brakes and Hawkins drives him back. But he does extend to the fifth. They're both over by Gary Patterson. His third down goes to Olana Lua. And he looks like he's going to be just short.